William Henry Harrison was the ninth president of the United States, serving for a very short time in 1841. Born on February 9, 1773, in Charles City County, Virginia, Harrison had a notable military career before entering politics. He gained fame for his role in the Battle of Tippecanoe in 1811 and for his leadership during the War of 1812. Here are some of his famous quotes. There is nothing more corrupting, nothing more destructive of the noblest and finest feelings of our nature, than the exercise of unlimited power. I contend that the strongest of all governments is that which is most free. I wish you to understand the true principles of the government. I wish them carried out. I ask nothing more. There is nothing so stable as the habits of men, whether good or bad. The only legitimate right to govern is an express grant of power from the governed. The only legitimate object of government is to do for a community of people whatever they need to have done, but cannot do at all, or cannot do so well, for themselves in their separate and individual capacities. In the discharge of the duties of this office, there is one rule of action more important than all others. It consists in never doing anything that someone else can do for you. The only way to prevent the people from becoming corrupted by riches is to prevent the rich from being poor. I am just going to do my duty and do what I think is right. To be really great in little things, to be truly noble and heroic in the insipid details of everyday life, is a virtue so rare as to be worthy of canonization. I believe and declare that the interests of society are better served by the happiness of the many than by the opulence of the few. The only legitimate source of power to govern a people is the people. It is the youth who must inherit the tribulations, the evils, and the triumphs that are the aftermath of war. The great principles of right and wrong are legible to every reader, to pursue them requires not the aid of many counselors. Government should not be an assembly of party supporters, but rather an assembly of the ablest and best men from the whole country. Harrison's presidency was cut short. He delivered the longest inaugural address in U.S. history on March 4, 1841, during a cold and rainy day, and he contracted pneumonia. Unfortunately, he died just 31 days into his presidency, on April 4, 1841, making his the shortest presidency in American history. This has led to the phrase, Tippecanoe and Tyler II, referring to Harrison's campaign slogan, becoming a memorable part of American political history. If you found value in the profound insights shared in this video, don't miss out on future enlightening content. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell, so you never miss an opportunity to expand your mind, nurture your soul, and discover the transformative power of wisdom. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.